Hello traders and welcome to ChrisFX. I know that you have been struggling with identifying the right order blocks. Many times you are identifying an order block such as this one right here, you are placing your pending order and then you are losing. Afterwards you think that it is okay, price might react from this order block, it is giving you a small reaction such as this one that you see right here, you enter a trade once again and then you lose your trade once again. You are wondering what is going on and why my order blocks are not working. Well today I am here to provide a solution to this problem and to show you how to trade high probability order blocks and to win in the markets. And by the way this is the challenge that I showed you 3 days ago, it is passed now just in 3 days, actually it was passed in just one day. I just took these two trades with one micro lot each. So now let's begin with our video. And I am gonna start with examples plus with the rules, we are gonna write the rules one by one. So rule number one is avoid order blocks which are standing above or below very impulsive candlesticks. So what does this first rule mean right here? It means that when we have very strong candlesticks being formed which broke structure, then those order blocks, those supply or demand areas, those support or resistance areas, we will call them order blocks in this occasion, are to be avoided 1000%. Never trade from areas such as this one. And I will take you through some examples and you will see that most of them are gonna be failing. One such example is this one. You see those two very impulsive candlesticks right here. You see when price came back it gave a false reaction and then we broke structure towards the upside. Another similar example is this example right here that I showed at the beginning of this video. How did we break this structure right here? We broke it with one very very impulsive bullish candlestick. Many people think that now this order block is very strong, quite the opposite, this order block is quite weak, it will not hold 99% of the times. So avoid this one as well. Rule number two, identify a grab of liquidity. Okay, this second rule is split into two parts. As an example, here on the same exact example on Euro US dollar, we are on the one hour time frame. What we want to see in order to identify our order block to trade from is a grab of liquidity. And in order to demonstrate that, I will go back in time right here. And now I want you to think as we are exactly right here. Let's go and think about it together as if we are trading in the live market. What did we say about rule number one? That we avoid trading after such impulsive candlesticks which broke structure. As a result, instantly you just avoid this order block right here. So what you know instantly, you know that we grabbed liquidity from this area and you know that there is more liquidity to be grabbed below this area right here. So we're just waiting to see how price reacts into this area. We were a little bit fast, we grabbed the liquidity here, small reaction, but then we grabbed even more liquidity which was right below this area right here. I said that this second rule splits in two ways as well. The first way that we are using it is on the higher time frame which in this occasion is the one hour time frame we are waiting to see grabs of liquidity. The second way that we are using it is when we have our areas of interest now that we have grabbed a lot of liquidity, we have this whole area which is an order block on its own and we have this one as well which is an order block as well. Why do this qualify? Because of the same second rule, there is a grab of liquidity on a lower time frame. So if I scale down to the 5 minute time frame within these areas, we grab the liquidity below these areas, Look what is happening exactly right here, more liquidity was grabbed and we had a lot of time, enough time to make something like a Wyckoff schematic right here, contrary to this one for which the order block that grabbed the liquidity has already been tested, if you see right here. In this occasion though, when we grab the liquidity in the micro level from the point of interest that we are interested in right now, we see that this whole area has not been tested. So this one hour order block now is a valid order block to trade from. 
also this order block right here. What happened right here? We did grab the liquidity below this area and if I take you down to the 5 minute time frame now, you will see that this area has not been tested. Nonetheless, in this occasion here that you see above, yes, we did have a grab of liquidity below this area, but this area was tested instantly afterwards. So we did not grab any more liquidity. This is another way that you can identify and break down the rule of liquidity in two parts, one from the higher time frame, one from the lower time frame. Instantly, I have two very high probability points of interest. Let's check how price plays out when we reach into these points of interest. Okay, there you go. Five minute time frame in this occasion. There you go. We have a proper change of character. When we have the change of character, I have said numerous times either you can enter here, the pending order here, or you can enter lower, for example, right here. In this occasion, I would enter from this breaker block. You can check about breaker blocks by clicking on this link that appears on the top right of your screen right now, by the way. So here I can take my chances and I can go ahead and place an order right here. Probably first target can go here or we can go instantly and target points of liquidity from the one hour time frame. Let's go back to the one hour time frame. Such point of liquidity would be this point right here or this point right here, or instantly we can go for this point right here. Let's check out how this played out. First point is hit, as you can see, of course, we knew about it, but I'm just showing you step by step what to do. Let's move as we are right now to rule number one, because many of you are going back and forth and playing every single move. Rule number one says that if we have very impulsive break of structure, such as this one, in this occasion we have very, very impulsive bearish candlesticks which left fair value gaps, very large fair value gaps, then this is not gonna hold. So it will trick you in as it did right here and then you're gonna be losing the trade. So you avoid that instantly. You can see that here that we took the trade from this is not the case. We do not have such huge candlesticks such as this one right here or these two that we see exactly right here. On the contrary, we have impulsive candlesticks, but we have candlesticks that left small fair value gaps, which is important, but they did not leave these huge fair value gaps behind. Okay. And to be honest, I can go ahead and say this is two and this is three because number one, is in order to increase your probabilities is go with the trend. Okay. And you don't need to go like that and check out the overall trend from 20 days ago. You can identify what we are doing right here. As an example, since we broke this structure and we make this movement, we know that we will be probably continuing towards the upside. We know that many people see those breaks of structures as changes of character, which are not changes of character. Price is just going for more liquidity. And then with the two other rules that I showed you, you can identify the right move and go for it on a lower time frame, such as the five minute time frame. I will place rule number four, which is not necessarily a rule because I'm teaching on my courses how to instantly place pending orders. Nonetheless, for less experienced traders, always scale down to a lower time frame within the point of interest and wait for a change of character. Okay. And if you want to learn all the specifics, because it is not just watching the videos and it is not just me telling you what to do, it is important that you get a very good grasp of what we do and to be able to apply it on your own with proper psychology and proper risk management. And there is no better way to do that than booking a one-to-one -one call with me. Those are one hour calls and I can take you step by step to anything that you want to ask or to my trading strategies and whichever other topic concerns you the most. And of course, you can go ahead and become a member of the ChrisFX Academy, where you have all the audiovisual material and you have access to me 24-7. As for the targets, I will write this down as a rule as well, because it is important that we go for high rewards to risks, target next areas of liquidity. 
This is important as well. It is part of the strategy because if you do target next areas of liquidity, as you saw, you will go for very good rewards to risks, such as this one that we entered from right here. And we did target this one first, which was a 2.9 to 1, a 3 to 1, let's say. And then we would go for a final one such as this one with a stop loss at break even. Let's see if this one would have been hit. I will just move forward. Yeah, in the end, this would have been hit without touching our stop loss or you could have trailed your stop loss exactly right here. So you would be stopped out with additional profit. So let's sum things up. How to identify high probability order blocks. Number one, go with the trend of the higher time frame. If your higher time frame is the one hour time frame, which I suggest a lot, go with the trend of this time frame. Number two, avoid order blocks which are standing above or below very impulsive candlesticks. Number three, which we broke in two parts, identify grabs of liquidity both on the higher time frame and in the area from a lower time frame perspective from which you are expecting to see a reaction on the order block. Number four, always scale down to a lower time frame within the point of interest and wait for a change of character. Then you can enter either with a market execution or with a pending order, either from the breaker block that we talked about or the smaller time frame order block. Number five, target next areas of liquidity. I can make more videos such as this one if you are interested in this video. Be sure that you like the video and leave any comment that you want to leave. I will include you in the giveaway where two out of the one 100 people are gonna be getting access to the ChrisFX Academy for one full month absolutely for free. The only thing that I'm asking from you, just join my free Discord server, which is gonna be free for a lifetime. There are zero charges there. And then we will choose two out of the 100 loyal people that will be in the free Discord server and they will give them access to the ChrisFX Academy. This is gonna do it for today, traders. And thank you all for watching. Until next time.